So if you're not using common events in RPG Maker, you are really doing yourself a disservice. It's literally no different than eventing, it just saves you a lot of hassle. The number one reason to use common events is for when something is happening repeatedly in your game, some sort of thing, uh, a cutscene, an action, whatever. So just to give you an example for this one, let's say every time the character wakes up, you want to randomize the weather. So it could be raining, it could be snowing or whatever, doesn't matter. But um, normally you'd click here, make your event and all that. But instead we're gonna click to the database, go down to common events and just pick one. And we're gonna say random weather. Well, actually, you know what, let's do a whole Say random sleep. So uh, since the bed is facing that way, if the player is facing left, we're gonna say go to sleep. And then show choices, yes, no. When they say yes, um, we're gonna fade out the screen we're gonna play a little a little nice song, which I think is M E. Yeah. All right. We'll just say that one. That sounds like it's about five seconds. So we're gonna play that. Wait. Uh, Two forty plus sixty three hundred seconds. And always remember to fade in your screen when you fade it out. Otherwise, everything will just be black and you can't see. Uh, but before we fade in, let's say you were, or you feel, well rested. Okay, and then we're going to fade in the screen. And then, uh, if you watch my randomization video, you already know how to do this. But uh, there we go, we got random number. We'll set it 1, 2, 3. And now control, oh, if variable random is equal to one, it's a beautiful sunny day. Now, otherwise in the else branch, if the variable random is equal to two, whoops. Don't forget to put that else branch. Now we're going to set weather effect to rain. Say it's a gloomy rainy day. And we'll just go ahead and Copy that and paste it in the else branch just to save us a little bit of time and set it to three. And now we're gonna change the weather effect to snow. It's a cold, snowy day. And that's it. <clears throat> oh, um, one thing to Actually, it, uh, let's set the weather to none when it's a sunny day. That way, it's always like the correct weather because otherwise it'll just stay whatever the previous weather was. So now let's say you have a hotel and every bed is interactable. Instead of having to whoops, instead of having to copy that event all over the place, you can simply create an event and say common event, random sleep. That's it. Now you can reuse this to every bed you want. And let's say the bed's on the right, the only thing you'd have to do is say um, conditional branch if player is facing right, and it should work theoretically. But I do that, okay. So let me show you, go to sleep, yes. You feel well rested. It's a cold, snowy day. Well, let's go back to bed.
you feel well rested. It's a beautiful sunny day. So there you go. I can keep doing this infinitely till the end of time. Come on. I just want it to rain once to show that this act actually is randomized. <laughs> There we go, finally, it's a gloomy rainy day. I love rainy days. But anyway, um, yeah, so you can see that that can be used for so many things. I really recommend only do it for things that are constantly repeating, things that you do over and over again in your game because instead of having to event it for every single thing, you can just say call common events, you know, X, Y, Z or whatever, and then you can do it over and over again. This is really good for so many things. And the beauty is, let's say, I decide later on that I want four types of weather because I don't know, I just do. So I can I can edit the event in here and I can I can add a fourth thing. So go up here and say one through four. And now if it's four, uh what was the other effect? Storm. I don't know what the difference is between rain and storm, but let's say it's a stormy day. And now that I've edited this, I don't have to edit any of the other ones. It will automatically affect every single event using that common event for the end of time, forever and ever. Let's see if I got lucky and it happens on the first try. It's a stormy day, all right, I got lucky. So that's where common events are really, really handy. Please, please do yourself a favor and use them in your RPG Maker games because they're insanely useful. And as you can see, it's just so much easier to, to do repetitive events this way, especially if they're long, complicated ones. I hope that helped. And if you want to learn more about the randomizing, I did do a whole video on that, which I highly recommend checking out. If you've got other RPG Maker requests, I will do my best if you just leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.